Okay, I got a lot of the rust off this. You can see it just slides right on and off. It's just about off. It's a pain in the butt, really. That sucker's really on there. A lot of rust and stuff. Here I've got it a good way off. You just have to ponder. It's better just to replace a belt and don't worry about the seal, but you know, you got a little leakage down there, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Maybe when I'm done, I'll ponder whether this was worth all the effort, but that sucker's on there. It takes a lot of force to pull it off. If it's a press fit or it's just, uh, the sucker's just like got the Katrina sauce in there that's rusted on. So I'm using a brush to kind of clean up the shaft there. And putting some oil on it every now and then to put the puller back on again. So the way this grabs this, take off the ring that holds the clamshells together. Gets behind the gear. It's all rusted in here. That's why it took so much force to get the thing out of there. Ford special puller used to get the sprocket off. It's got a lip right here. It's got two halves that go together. Grabs behind it. This ring is over the top of it. And then the puller is in here. Goes into this hole. So you tighten this up to pull it out of there. Kind of a rare, kind of expensive part that it says T74P6306A. And that's what it looks like. I just, I'm borrowing this one. But the feature is it has a little lip here if you want to try to make your own or something. So it has to go behind the sprocket and then it's going to basically pull the sprocket off. So this goes down in here. It grabs behind the sprocket. So you got two halves of that plus the circular piece that goes on there. Pull that out of there. There's both pieces of the clamshell on either side and this is the puller piece you can press against the crankshaft and then this slides over this so the two pieces of the are held together You've got a place to put a wrench here and then a wrench here you tighten this up to pull a sprocket off of there okay the orientation this should be cone shaped like this it goes into the into the crankshaft it pushes on here this rotates so I'm not sure in the last clip if I had it the right way but this is the way it goes on like that that's so the threads are not ruined in here here I've got it a good way off you just have to ponder it's better just replace a belt and don't worry about the seal but you know, you got a little leakage down there, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Maybe when I'm done, I'll ponder whether this was worth all the effort, but that sucker's on there. It takes a lot of force to pull it off. The sucker's just, like, got the Katrina sauce in there that's rusted on. So I'm using a brush to kind of clean up the shaft there. And putting some oil on it every now and then to put the puller back on again. I got the gear just about all the way off the sprocket. This is against the water pump. Not all that worried about it because I'm replacing the pump anyways while I'm doing all this work. I got a longer ratchet there. It helps. 
That's one I got from Tractor Supply in their sale area. But there's what it looks like. Already taken the tool off about four times to go through and put some more penetrant on there. Because it just gets like it's almost bound up. So it's just about off. Put some more WB40 and PB nut blaster coil or something on there. It's all rusted up. It's just about off. It's a pain in the butt, really. The sucker's really on there. A lot of rust and stuff. I'm off. So there it is down there. Things on there like a son of a gun. So the way this grabs this, take off the ring that holds the clamshells together, gets behind the gear. It's all rusted in here. That's why it took so much force to get the thing out of there. Okay, and the puller, this is a 5 8 inch. This is one and an eighth. You could use 16 millimeter in here. There's no metric that this is one and an eighth. It'd probably be kind of sloppy, so I measured it's about one or two thousandths under one and an eighth. Here's the sprocket I pulled off. This is the front side because there's the Little timing mark. Backside looks like this. Backside's always a little bit dirtier. It faces the seal. And I've gone through there and scrubbed with some brake cleaner and some other junk, and it's got some, you see, kind of some score marks where it got drug off the thing. And the pulley down here, the crankcase down here crankshaft, excuse me, I bombed that with some brake cleaner so you can see the uh, seal right there. There it is, kind of blue looking. And I'm probably going to have to take that crankshaft and kind of get some of the burrs and crap off to get the uh, sprocket back on. I don't want to pound it back on there, get heated up, but it, it should be to where it's not going to be just like a huge force to get the stupid thing on there. So that's the back side of the sprocket. This is side facing the front bumper. You can see that mark left on the cover here that uh, keeps the belt from riding out. I took a uh, brush to it and there's a little mark right there. Didn't show up until I really scrubbed all the rust off of it. So if it the keys at the 12, it's about the 1 o'clock position. See it's one tooth over. So that's toward the rear of the car. This is the front. That's the timing mark there. You can see it left kind of a, almost looks like it's a washer gasket here. I don't know if that is or not. Or is that just goo? Great. Almost looks like a paper gasket. Might be. Looks like it's about 10 or 15 thousandths thick. Or something like that. There's the mark. Lines up down there with got lines up right with the feature. It's right in the center of the screen. Right there. Okay, got a lot of the rust off this. You can see it just slides right on and off. 
got about to here and it kind of had most a lot of rust on the keyway so I've kind of sanded a lot of this crap off of here so if the car was brand new or maybe it uh, didn't go under water salt water it might just come right off there but mine was kind of like bonded on there and then there's a seal behind there. I'm going to try to replace the seal maybe tomorrow. 